I'm Jacob. I'm Yuri. And we're going for a drive. Twenty twenty Ford F one fifty King Ranch Super Crew without launch control. A little bit sluggish off the line. Horsepower and torque. 375 horsepower, 470 pound-feet of torque from an EcoBoost 3.5 liter V6. Pretty much the same twin turbo V6 that's found in the new Raptor. Yeah, just detuned, slightly less horsepower, but you can get that actual engine in an upper trim that is not a Raptor. Shoulda had a V8. Yeah, this actually comes with a V8 and you have to option the EcoBoost on top of it for no charge. And this being the King Ranch version, it's pretty much a direct competitor for the Ram Longhorn. Yeah, we loved that Laramie Longhorn, and this is pretty good, but definitely not up to snuff compared to the new generation of the Ram 1500. Yeah, so these are both cowboy-themed trucks. So what do you want to get into first? I think we should get to the looks because the new F-150 just came out yesterday. And here's what we think of it. I think the new one actually looks pretty good. They did a lot with the headlights. I love what they did with the new grill on the F-150. I really wish they went more Cybertruck with it. It just looks like a regular truck. I'm really loving this new tailgate innovation they brought to the new F-150. And the taillights are pretty standard, not the best. I don't really like these new wheels. It's so awesome that they brought that new infotainment. I can't believe they didn't bring the Raptor back in the first year. <laughs> 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 it's really nice that they kept all the trim names just like they did for the previous generation. It's like a throwback to heritage stuff. And at the time that we're filming this, we actually don't know what the new F-150 looks like. So here's all the alternate takes that we did. I think the new one kind of sucks and the old one definitely looks better. Not really a fan of the new grill on the F-150. I really wish they didn't go so Cybertruck on it. It just looks so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was honestly expecting more tailgate innovation with this new F-150. <laughs> <laughs> and the taillights are actually really nice. I really like the new wheels they're bringing with this. I'm so happy that the Raptor's back for the first year. Ah oh man, I can't believe they brought that new tablet style infotainment. I can't believe they kept the same names as the previous generation. What are they thinking? But we used the ones that we actually felt. Yes, yeah, so the first one that you saw was how we <laughs> felt about the actual new one. Or is it? <laughs> Is anything ever really what it is? <laughs> so starting with the front end, we've got a ton of chrome, which is an option. Yeah, even though this is the King Ranch, you'd expect a lot of chrome. You don't have to get this much. And then we also have a cool square mesh grill. It's like very square. It is very square and I don't really like it. Actually. I do. I think it looks cool. And let's talk about these headlights because I really don't like them. They look so cheap and aftermarket. Yeah, they've kind of got more dots between everything, but Audi is kind of bringing that style back. So maybe that's going to be on the new F-150. I just really like the ones on the Raptor because they're like a solid line, not because it's the Raptor speaking about just the headlights. Yeah, but maybe they needed to change it up because people who would buy the King Ranch want like weird little things like that that make theirs a little bit different. I can see an older person, someone that would shop on eBay putting these on here. <laughs> <laughs> and then we also have chrome tow hooks, obviously. And then if we move on to the side view, this is a two-tone vehicle. Yeah, it's not that apparent in every light. Okay, so what is this color blue called? Blue jeans metallic, I believe. It is such a metallic-y blue. It has so much flavor in that color. I really like it. And then it's matched with a brown color on the outside as well. Yeah, I think Ford actually has really nice metallic-y paints. Yeah, I think the two-tone color is definitely like older person spec. Like that looks really good if you're a senior citizen. Yeah, and you actually have to pay extra to delete that so that the whole thing is color matched. Oh, really? Yeah. And then at the bottom, we have side steps that come in and out every time you open or close the door. Yeah, the motorized side steps are nice, which I'm sure you would turn off in the winter because that would get jammed up. And they're so chrome. Yeah, yeah, they are. No, I keep it on. Not in the winter. Why not? No, because they're going to get all gummed up. What's the worst that could happen? Frozen electronics, frozen rust, everything. I don't believe it exists. And then we have a nice King Ranch badge on the side. Yeah, I don't understand what the King Ranch badge is. It's like a W and then like there's like another line. Is it like a snake? Like what, what's going on? I'm not sure what the actual logo is or what it means, but it's, I mean, it's obviously ranchy, so. Okay, so King Ranch, it says established 1853. I looked it up. Turns out it's a ranch that's named after a guy named King. Okay, that so makes sense. it's not like this is the king of trucks, it's literally somebody's last name. But that's a good way to do that. Yeah, yeah, it's a good, it's good trickery. Exactly. It's like how everyone said McDonald's had like a company that was called 100% beef, but it wasn't actually 100% yeah, beef. Yeah, I remember that. Everyone, yeah. everyone thought that was a sneaky move. I don't know if it was real though. I don't think so. I can't, I don't know if anything's real It was anymore. one of those like high school rumor kind of things that you heard. 
And then at the back, we've got the FX4 off-road sticker, which lets you know this has the off-road package. Yeah, so you get a bunch of skid plates, so it's cool that you can still get that on the King Ranch Edition. And then what do you think of these wheels, which are so chrome? These are probably the chromest wheels we've had. I don't personally like them, but they make so much sense for the King Ranch Edition. And in the center, we've got that King Ranch snake badge or whatever. And then what is the Continental recommended tire? The Continental Terrain Contact AT. So now moving on to the back end, it says King Ranch across the not chrome thing across the tailgate. I really like how that looks. Like that's probably my favorite part of how this thing looks. It's nice that it's not chrome. I kind of like to see the rest of the car in that like not full chrome. I believe it's called satin. Satin chrome. Yeah. And the same old taillights that we've had on the F-150 this entire generation. Then we also have the gimmicky tailgate, which has the step that comes out and the handle and you can fold all that stuff back in. And this one also has the optional kick step on the side so you can get into the bed pretty easily. And this is a six and a half foot bed and thankfully it's not body colored in there. No, they actually did get the spray in bed liner from the factory, which is nice. So that's pretty much it for looks. But did you know that this is not the top trim of the F-150? What is the top trim of the F-150? There's actually three trims technically above this. I don't doubt it. Hit me with it. The Platinum, the Raptor, and the Limited. That's actually the most expensive. The Limited? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, crazy, eh? Well, considering, I guess, they're licensing the name King Ranch from a ranch, they want to be able to, like, fully own their top trim, so that makes sense. And in the Limited, that's where you get the actual Raptor engine with the same horsepower and torque. But the funniest part of this having this EcoBoost and that 5-liter V8, which comes in this, is this gets pretty much the same fuel economy. However, this can tow more, which is why I assume they optioned it in this. So when properly equipped, this can tow over 13,000 pounds, which is very, very good. Now we touched on the FX4 off-road package. So what did we do today, Yuri? Uh, we did some light off-roading at the Straight Pipes Ranch. We had a lot of fun. We wanted to make sure that this could actually climb Murder Mountain, and it can. And then going through the regular bumps and our fake little Baja section, this performed way better than the Nissan Titan Pro 4X. Yeah, the suspension damping on this is actually amazing in comparison to that which has upgraded shocks. It's nowhere near a Raptor, I have to say it, but this is very, very good and it was still very comfortable. Yeah, and considering this looks way less off-roady than that Nissan Titan did, this knocked it out of the park. It really did. So if you do own a ranch and you get one of these, you will have no problem climbing hills. We really don't know what goes on on ranches, do we? No, we don't. Like horses. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think you drive in fields real quick. Literally just horses, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe cattle? Maybe. So now let's talk about this EcoBoost engine. I'm just going to floor it. Torquey and very audio pumped in -y. <laughs> Yeah, and it's like very slow when you floor it. Like no matter what gear you're in, everything takes its time to get moving. Yeah, it takes a little bit of time to build boost, but you do have quite a bit of torque, which is really nice. So you do feel that in the upper RPMs, but it does kind of sound like it's trying to imitate a sound of a V8. And you don't have paddles to shift with. If you want to shift, you have to put it down into manual mode and then use the shifter to shift. And this does have a 10 speed auto when you're just driving along. It's pretty smooth, but there are a lot of gears to go through. And then if you want to put it in sport mode, there's another button that says DM and that'll get you to different modes. I thought that was the same as drive manual on the, the gear selector, but apparently that's drive mode. Yes, so it says DM next to the DM on the shifter. So drive modes, in terms of drive modes, we have sport, normal, tow haul, snow wet, and eco. I've been driving this in sport and it's pretty good, but that's when you get the pumped in engine sound that's like very noticeable. I feel like they could have just written the words drive mode on there. Like there's enough room. Or even just mode. Yeah, come on, Ford. I think I mean, by the I next mean, generation. Great job fixing that for this next generation. Yes, yes. I assume. <laughs> and let's do a luxurious truck send into cliche corners. So obviously not at full speed. A little bit of body roll, nothing too crazy. Very comfortable. And the thing that I noticed the most is it's really quiet in here. Yeah, there's really not much noise from outside at all. And like I said earlier in the off-road section, the damping is actually really good. So this is just a very comfortable truck to drive every day. I don't think it's quite as comfortable as a Ram with air suspension. No, but this is luxurious for a truck. It really is. So let's get you behind the seat and talk about this interior. Which isn't as cool as the updated 2021 F-150 interior. Not even close. I think. <laughs> Launch them. This is torquey in the upper range. Yeah, it's pretty good, but it doesn't like feel exciting or anything. No, it doesn't sound that good. Just option the five liter V8, which is the default one for this car. So now moving on to the interior, let's look at everything. It is all brownish, which is cowboy themed. Yeah, so do you like this shade of brown? I hate this shade of brown. <laughs> it like reminds me of like dog poop or baby poop or some kind of like, it's just too red-ish. It's an interesting shade. I don't mind it as much as you do. I think it reminds me of a baseball glove. And then we've got a couple other shades of brown to go with it. To be honest, 
I think it looks kind of weird. Nowhere near as good as the way Dodge did it. No, not even close. And then the wood that they have in here also looks kind of cheap, especially compared to that Ram. Yeah, yeah, not Dodge, sorry. Old habits die hard. <laughs> and then we've also got some matching wood on the door panel right here, which is another current gen F-150 thing. Every different kind will have like a different kind of pattern. Remember the Shelby had like something way faster. I forget what it was. And the Raptor had optional carbon fiber there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it suits it. And in the center armrest, we also have this caribou color logo. Yes, is that a W? I don't even know, man. The W in ranch is silent. <laughs> ranch? <laughs> ranch. Ranch. And then we also have established in 1853 right here. Yeah, right on the side of the seats. Probably a couple other places too. And the seats are actually really comfortable and they look pretty cool. Yes, very comfortable. And then the seats in the back, there's a lot of room and they fold up. So you have a lot of room for stuff in the back too. Yeah, tons of room back there. And if these seats aren't the perfect size for you, say you're a little bit short, we do have adjustable pedals too. Which is pretty standard on most trucks. Yeah, but not on cars. No, I know. Well, cool cars had it. I, none. That's what I'm saying. Oh, wait. Uh, Crown Vicks. Okay, my grandma key never had it. Yeah, but Crown Vicks, because cop cars. And moving on to the dash, we have some pretty high quality physical buttons. I think they look and feel great. Yeah, we got a volume knob, tuning knob, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's like, it's kind of like a weird almost phone layout, but we've got full buttons for our climate control. And we've got the old infotainment, but they updated it enough so that you can have rewinding satellite radios. Finally, proper rewinding satellite radios that you don't have to just do live rewinding. And we also have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. But like, how crazy is it that they finally updated that after all these years? And we've been complaining for like four years. You have. And it's still the exact same system. Like they didn't change the whole thing. No, I know. They just, it's, it's a download. It's a software update. And then above the infotainment, we also have some more buttons. So we've got our hill descent assist and we've got our camera. So you can look at the front when you take off. But I think it's great because these trucks are gigantic and sometimes you don't really know what sneaks up in front of you. And this does have 360 cameras, which is nice, but they are definitely not high res. No, but they're very accurate. Just like I liked in the F-250 review a couple years ago, it's like so easy to park with them, probably because trucks are so high up. Yeah, and way better than the Nissan Titan Pro 4X camera. And then we still have our 4x4 adjustments. We have 2 high, 4 auto, 4 high, and 4 low with a locking rear diff. And then if we move on to our gauge cluster, it's pretty much exactly the same as everything this F-150 generation. Yeah, nice and clear. And then this does fit a cup of coffee absolutely fine, but it's not nearly as gimmicky as that Nissan Titan, so I'm a little bit disappointed. And let's find out if the visors pass. I have full faith. Three. Two, one. Yes. Perfect. Good job, Ford. And back down in the center console area, we do have regular old USB, not C, which I assume the new generation has done. Confirmed. <laughs> and then we also have a lane departure warning, which is partial assist. Yeah, and then we've got radar cruise, but like the lane keep will not keep you in, it'll just kind of pull you right out. So I think that's pretty much everything with the Ford F-150 King Ranch. Let's get to the price. It's obviously a lot of money for this type of vehicle. Starts at $73,199. Canadian. And this one is $81,869. Kind of a lot, but it is definitely a luxurious truck. It's pretty much in line with the Ram 1500 Longhorn. So if you had to pick one, the King Ranch or the Longhorn, which one would it be? Well, since I'm I'm reviewing this current 2020 i'm definitely going team ram yeah that ram had a lot more little details it made it look a lot more special than this one even though this is generally nice for a current gen ford f-150 but now that i've seen the new king ranch i'm definitely king ranch there's no way they announced the king ranch you actually think they did <laughs> they're not gonna do it i don't know i'll find out when i watch this video later when it's out <laughs> So let us know what you guys think of the King Ranch trim of the F-150. And don't forget to guess on what next week's video is. Hmm, I wonder what it is. Could it be the new F-150? No, not yet. Come on. Definitely not. I wonder what it is, though.